Hello world and welcome to Space Engineers. We're uh, here because uh, I've got an idea for a fighter I want to get down and I kind of want to do a little bit of a build kind of log, I guess. Yeah, I, I do enjoy building fighters more than large ships. What we're going to do today is work on something to replace this. Or, you know, for the time being replace it anyway. Because I might go back and update this. I spent a lot of time working this out and then... Um, when the whole mass change and ion change came in a few months ago, this thing's lateral thrusters, as you can see, it don't have it, it. Don't have many. It does not have many, and she she doesn't turn anymore. She was always always meant to be like a fast strike, so she flies in. She's got a lot of it, a lot of a lot of armor. She's got a lot of displacement of components. If I just take one of these off and it explodes. But as you can see, she's got reactors in various strange places, all conveyored up. Things tucked away. That's obviously that's something I gotta gotta fix. There's obviously a gyroscope attached to one of these, probably one of the sides of the thruster blocks down here or something, maybe. But yeah, she's got Oh, that was a fun one. Yeah. See gyroscopes, they make great warheads, because uh, their high part count means they usually survive an explosion, so they, they're a good thing. But what, that might have been this land? No, it's not likely. She also has retractable landing gear. Just turn my headlamp on. Retracts in flush. The edges are uh, done with uh, the uh, blast door blocks there. And she flies actually relatively well with the landing gear. Don't have any problems. She's got uh, piston decoys. Just fly out the wings. Meh. It's something I've been messing around with. So a lot of people. Uh, oxygen tank. Long range missions. Yeah, she's got uh, OKI weapons mod. So she's got scatter guns everywhere. Where are they are called? From number nine, a 23 millimeter fixed gun. There we go. Yeah, the only problem with this is she's got quite the spread of fire. She's only got there's no kind of zeroing on weapons in Space Engineers, so everything fires directly forward. So you kind of want to cluster as many weapons as possible. That's kind of what this next design I want. I'm thinking, uh, what am I thinking? I don't know what I'm thinking to be honest, but that's usually a thing where we just start putting down some blocks and actually let's get some symmetry on this thing M for the symmetry key place it keep rotating through M until we get back to our block and N to turn it on right, get rid of that landing gear I was building this kind of green it's a bit crazy anyway, I'll, uh, I'll probably cut back to you when I actually have something to show off All right, this is what we got so far. We got uh, this big kind of muzzle. Yeah, I was thinking some kind of like car, you know, the, uh, like some sort of grill at the front, maybe, kind of reminiscent looking, ish, kind of. But this big open maw full of gun, because you want to get as much firepower into like a small as possible area, do a lot of damage. So we've got this big open weapon package here. Uh, they're all connected to each other, and we got. Four possible conveyor points. Probably gonna, probably gonna bring them back for a bit of redundancy, and then merge them into one line. It's probably through the cockpit, maybe. I mean, if you lose your cockpit, you're pretty fucked. Uh, I'm thinking cockpit maybe about here-ish, maybe a bit lower, something in like that, possibly. Uh, yeah, maybe. Hmm. Then we're gonna have. So engine pods, not dissimilar to this one, not dissimilar, so similar in idea. Engine pods on the side, we're definitely going to pay attention to our lateral movement this time, so maybe some large thrusters facing sideways, definitely. Uh, save space, I say save space, how big actually is the hydrogen tank on a small ship? That's pretty big. 
That's pretty big. Just thinking about having some kind of hydrogen booster right at the back of the ship. Uh, for getting up to speed. But maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe though. It's kind of like picturing the lines in your head. Once again, you know, this is something I'm building right now and it's nothing like a fully sketched. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as something's happening. The thing that I sketched can still be built the way it is built. We're gonna have all kind of strakes coming off the wings with decoys on. Yeah. I got, I got some ideas. My fighters tend to end up being quite big, but it's because I like to fit a lot of toys in them. Alright, I think we're getting somewhere. Uh, I've got this odd little angle coming in here just to hide. I mean, I did have this coming in flat, like just a square block here, but the the right angle that appears here is just so sharp that you have yeah you have to hide it somehow. And I think once the wing engine pods are on, and you've got these blank surface areas detailed, I mean, down here if we take a look, something something I like to do is uh, half built wheels that make good little kind of I don't know radiator things, and you've got these. Uh, the old uh, upper end of the the two slope, the two block long slope, just in there like that, and then you, you color them a darker color. And that's just like air vents, you know what I mean? Some kind of venting grill or something. Just adds a bit of surface flavor. We'll definitely have that. I want to get a lot of missiles in this as well. I haven't quite decided whether I was going to do reloadable missiles or a missile pod with some kind of fast timer you know the idea being that uh, you fly at a target you hit the fire button you know you dump your 30 missiles and then you dump the entire weapon spot and if you want to reload you go back and get a new weapon spot entirely set up you know with the script and everything so I think you can fire off a shit ton more missiles faster that way Reload the, the whole fire four and then the reload time just really gets to me. So uh, there's an oxygen tank mounted in. I did actually have room to put it back there. We're using two slopes here. We've got kind of like this flat heavy angle here, but I think that's gonna be okay. I think that's gonna be okay. Because we can work that down into the engines. The whole thing's gonna have this sloping up thing. So from the front it down, then you sh she slopes up. Then you have the wing pods. Um, not quite sure where the landing gear is going yet. Possibly, possibly, we might be able to fit one here, but that would be just a short one. I'm not even sure whether I would take the time to put a piston in, because this front end would be so low to the ground. I could have the landing gear mounted like. Could I? Actually, it depends how much room from the gun I have. I don't know. We take that piece of armor, I put an armor layer just in front of the guns, we've put a conveyor along the top, and there's conveyors off the sides from the bottom ones. I was going to do another conveyor at the bottom, but I think I might want to try and fit a large reactor in this front piece, and there's only one location to fit. Then we'll hook it up to this main line at the top there. I don't know whether you can see that, there we go, bit of light in there. Yeesh. I, um, don't really intends to convey everything when I build a ship it really depends like reactors definitely they'll all be conveyed to each other but if I've got wing mounted machine guns I really won't won't stress an effort here it just worked because we had the conveyor there but uh, other such vehicles let me just make an example here's uh, the Hawker Hunter 2 and she's got some conveyors here and there like these weapon pods are conveyed, they're conveyed to this front system, but I'm pretty sure that's not con conveyed to anything in the back, so that's not conveyed to the reactor system. This is still heavily, heavily whip. This has the whole kind of idea of the timer block driven missile pod that you can then dispose of, get new ones attached. She's quite a violent vehicle. Uh, decoys in armored pontoons on little winglets. Still heavy whip, heavy whip, heavy whip. I wanted this to be good for atmosphere. Um, 
then we got the hydrogen engine, so I thought, you know, I'll save it, and then probably rework with the hydrogen. Then we got the atmosphere engines, and I haven't reworked it since at all. Uh, nice heavy armor blocks underneath the seats. Yeah, fast attack dropship for troops. I like it. It's getting there. It's gonna be sweet. When I finish it. <laughs> when I finish it. I forgot how cool that little stick out weapons pods are. We might do something like that on this. Like little ball pods of pods. Hmm. Back to the grind. Alright, well, I thought, you know, since we're going for the full gimmick, let's have it tuck away so little piston extends the landing gear just to block out the rest of the ship the, the the other two landing gear will come down a fair bit longer most likely there we go we've got blast doors ridged along with if I can get, get my ass around there blast doors on either side uh, we're getting that square right ang angle edge here as well but uh, I'm kind of okay with that since it's part of the landing gear mechanism We've ridged the directions around the piston with blast doors as well to prevent collateral damage, I guess. And uh, that block there, I believe, is. Whoop, let's get a free block. That block is empty, is it? Probably want to leave that block empty there. Because that technically goes into the collision mesh of the landing gear. So we don't want to put a block there, just in case. Uh, we did manage to fit the reactor in there, or one of them. We'll just call that the main reactor. And we've linked it to the conveyor network just up there. Uh, once again, there's a piece of light armor in between. So if we're charging at something, we might take some flak in here. Gun might get damaged. We don't want any through damage. Tunneling. Uh, that's another thing. I might put the gyroscopes mostly at the back. Because uh, when things are damaged and gyroscopes do get loose, they will tunnel through a ship. And I'd hate for a gyroscope to get loose down here, rip through the main reactor, the weapon system, and then come out of the back. So, hmm. But we do have a lot of free void down here to do something with. So I might queue in a pipe down here and then put a dump bunch of one block reactors in here just to boost our power. Make a nice big power pack kind of deal. But uh, we'll get back to you. Alright, we're kind of getting somewhere. Just testing out some engine placements. You know, something I do is kind of just wireframe out some engine pods. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. So, yeah, some big side thrusters. I've got them kind of integral. It kind of helps blend the line from this very straight piece here. Then it comes out, and that kind of merges the line into the engine blocks, which will be here. Uh, the engine blocks, as you can see, I've, I've tilted the engines. Tilted, you know, like slanted. And that's going to slant back into little strakes that are going to go back, like little winglets coming out with decoys. So set far and back to uh, keep auto turrets, AI turrets, uh, firing as far to the rear of me as possible. That's increasing the chance that they'll miss. But this is definitely the point that I've slapped some gyroscopes on it. We're going to copy it. And uh, we're going to give it a buzz. Not bad. Six gyroscopes. We obviously need a ton more power. Missing total 267, but that's okay. I haven't put any other reactors in. It's, uh, we don't have... Uh, we have an unlimited speed limit, I should say, mod. So, uh, doesn't give us a true bearing of what it plays in stock. But, she's alright, she could do with more thrusters sideways, but that could be just the power issue where we're tanking the power. And if you don't have enough power to deliver to your engines, your engines still fire, but uh, at a greatly reduced rate of, you know, power. So let's actually stick a little bit more power on her and see what happens. Let's do this because we're not going to fit another large reactor in, but we could probably fit 60 odd what of those in here. Uh, you can feel the weight now. Might actually get batteries on her. 
It's a little bit drifty. Gun in place. Take a look at that. That is pretty scary. You see that coming? Let's just do a few shots. Okay. That's, I mean, you can see the damage from here. You know. We got some good hits on then. You know, you have to, you have to kind of think you're not going to be able to hold the button down and just paste through. She's going to be moving. We got like very little breaking. She's very swingy. So let's bring that up. We've damaged the nose armor quite a bit there. So she has the ability to pommel. Uh, no lights on this thing. Let's get in the lights. There we go. How fast she can she take down an engine? Incredibly fast. Look at that. Yeah. She's a terror. Goodbye, heavy armor. Yeah. Hull breach. The weapons are effective. Got a lot of drift on the sides. So, we're going to see what we can do about that. Might have to put some engines in the front. Don't know. I want to make, like make her dogfighting, you know, relevant. You know, she can chase a fighter down, shoot through it. I mean, that, that's, ooh, look at that. We nearly hit the ground there. Let's see what she does to the fighter. I know it's already a bit wrecked, but... Uh, yeah, look at that. What the heck, man. Disintegrated. There's, there's no stopping this. The platform is slowly drifting away from us. Nice. Okay, I think that's it for uh, it for today. Um, going to have to break this down into parts, probably. In maybe two parts we can get this done in. Yeah, but I don't see many build logs, so... I don't know, it's something... Something I would do in KSP. So, why don't I do it there? Also, uh, here's another little fun trick. All right? Because I didn't fill in the corners here, which, um, there's two reasons. One, so I could get the conveyor points from all the guns. All these guns are connected to each other, but in lines. And now that I think about that, I think the middle ones here aren't actually connected to anything. But I'll fix that later. <laughs> I think I'll fix that later. But what I've done is, is I put blocks in here and I've sloped out to here. Because this gets rid of the hard corner. Because nobody wants to see a 90 degree corner. Can't really do it here without making this thing bigger. And, I mean, it feels okay when it's full of an engine. But on this huge opening here, this just adds a lot more flair. A lot more detail. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye!